Okay, um, so what a lot of people have is when they do their line work, they have this solid, flat um, line. And I'll just create a new one here. So they've got these basic lines, like so. All right, and the problem with this is is that it's they look very boring. They're very static. Um, they only work in a, a very few occasions. So what you can do is you can open your brushes panel, and you can create a basic shape. So we're just going to flip flop this around, and we're going to select this and make it transparent, and we're going to go back to the brushes panel. So what you can do is create a basic shape, something like that. Take that basic shape and drag it into the uh, box, uh, the brushes box, and you can actually select art brush. And um, this will control whether it's scaled proportionally or if it will uh, fit the stroke or stretch between the guides. You can choose your direction that you want to go in. You can choose up, down, all that sort of thing and you can choose um, the colorization you can do uh, work with all that so I say okay so then I select the path that I want select the brush and as you can see that creates a lot more uh, a dynamic stroke now it does have some line variation because if you look, hover over it you can actually see the path um, but you can actually manipulate the line with the the sub-object path tool. So you can, you know, if you needed this to go up, you could actually move that up. So you can do any sort of, of thing that you want um, when you're creating these brush strokes. Um, you know, some of the things that you can do is uh, simply creating a round brush stroke, like so. And let me invert this and go transparent. So creating a round brush stroke like so, dragging it in there, going to the art brush. Um, and I can actually scale this proportionately. Um, and, oops, I didn't want to do that. Um, and then what I can do is I can select this pattern and choose that brush stroke. So it's, it's based on you know, what you want for your line work, you can actually get some, um, a lot better strokes. Um, you know, so it's, it's really based on your idea. Another way to, to create more interesting line strokes is to go with the pencil tool. And this really only works well if you have a, um, if you have a tablet of some sorts, but you swap your colors out. Um, and then what you're going to do is create your own inking style. Oops, I did not want to do that. So let's uh, go to default here, swap the colors. There we go. So you can create your own inking style. And I'm not understanding. All right, let's uh, try this again. So what happens with this is your inking um, you can create more varied line width, like so, and like that. So you can create your own style that way. All right, and that that'll give you a different varied um, line width. So. That's uh, some ways to create some different brush strokes, and I hope that helps.